Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and today we are gonna learn about how to use date filter that defaults to latest date in the data source. In addition to that, we will also learn about how to use dynamic parameter to select the latest date by default every time we open a workbook. So how that can be achieved. So let's get started. And first of all, we will connect to the sample superstore data set by just clicking on connect to data and selecting sample superstore data set. So once we have the sample superstore data set, we will try to create a simple bar chart by just bringing categories in the row shelf, subcategories in the row shelf, and sales measure along that, and we will just change it to a bar chart. As you can see, the bar chart is created for sales by category and subcategory but this is for the entire time range. So we will just quickly do the sorting by clicking on subcategory and selecting the sort by nested values. And in this case, I will change the sort order to descending by sales. And you can see for each subcategory, we have the sales in the descending order. And I will click onto the label mark shelf and show the mark label to get the numbers adjacent to each bar. So now we need to bring the order date into filter shelf. So that's the first step where we want to default the date to the latest date in the data source every time the workbook is open. So we just bring the filter uh, date into filter shelf and then we will change it to a month, day and year. Select that one, click next. You will see all the dates are listed in this window. Now you just have to select this option which says filter to later state value when the workbook is opened. So every time the workbook is opened, it will show the latest value in the data set. So even if the database is refreshed and maybe tomorrow, instead of 30th December, the latest value is let's say 21st March, 2021. So by default, whenever you open the workbook, it will show you that latest date. So then just click okay and you will see the sales number changed and it is showing only for the latest date. So in order to see that, let's bring order date into column shelf and I will change it into a date value, exact date, and change it to a discrete measure. And you will see it is showing the latest value which is 30th December, 2019. And now moving on to the second option by using a dynamic parameter, how we can achieve that. So I will remove the filter from this filter shelf but defaulting it to all the dates together. So now, first of all, we will create a calculated field. In this, we want to make sure we get the maximum value of the date. So for this, we will use LOD, fixed LOD, and I will default it to, um, I will not use any columns because by default it will use everything as a fixed value, and I will use max of order date, and I will close the calculation. So this calculation will give us the maximum value of the date in the database every time the workbook is open. So now I will create a parameter and let's say date parameter and data type in this case I will select date and in this case I will use list value and I will use this option, which was recently in introduced in the latest version of Tableau. I guess it's 2020.4. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, it was introduced in the latest version. So when you select when the workbook opens, select the date which you want to use dynamically to populate in this parameter. So I will use order date in this case. It will, by default, create a list of all the dates, order dates in this section. And every time you open the workbook, it will refresh this list. And now the current value, I will change it to, uh, when the workbook opens, I will change the current value to the maximum date, the calculation which we have created. So it will by default change it to, in this scenario, 30th December, 2019. But if the data is refreshed tomorrow, whatever is the latest date in that data set, it will default that to the current value. And also here you can change the display format. So in this case, for example, I just want to use this one. So I will select that and click OK. 
and now I will bring the date parameter to show parameter and you will see by default this is showing me that date. So now I will create another calculation where I will say um, date calc and I will say order date equal to date parameter. So this one I will use it as a filter calculation and I will it's a boolean calculation so I will bring it into the filter shell and select it as a true value and by default it will be showing you the latest value which we received in a different way before by using the filter value as well. So that's that's about it. This is the way we can use the date filter or dynamic parameter to select the default value whenever the workbook opens. And also in terms of parameter you can create any calculation. So in this case we have used maximum date calculation, right? So if you want to use let's say the first date of the month or first date of the latest month which is in the database you can use it that as well so any calculation you can use it in this case to default the value i hope this session helped you guys and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out or drop a comment below in the section thank you